The Greens have seized on a surprise win in a Victorian by-election, unveiling bold plans to win 25 federal seats over the next generation. It's a major play to seize voters on the left, while on the right, Conservative forces are fighting for power inside and outside the coalition. Here's political reporter Ashlyn McGee. Sometimes the far left and the far right aren't so far apart at all. We're winning. We're going to win so much. We're going to get so sick of winning. You may even get tired of winning. We're going to keep winning. Please, please, it's too much winning. Just look at the campaign in Northcote. The Greens seized the inner Melbourne state seat from Labor in a by-election yesterday. Now they want more. Within 25 years, they want to form government with another party by turning one lower house federal seat into 25. Lower house seats like Batman and Melbourne Ports, Wills, Higgins, Kooyong, Jellybrand in Victoria. In New South Wales, Richmond, Sydney, Grainler, Wentworth and Newcastle. Inner city Labor seats, Liberal seats, seats in every state, even the Prime Minister's seat. It's a lofty goal and may be unachievable, but Labor is clearly worried. Look, I'd love it if the Greens took some of the energy that they so devote towards uh, tearing down progressives to focusing on conservatives. Uh, so much of the Greens' energy seems to be going into these fights on the left. Because that's where votes can be won. While Labor and the Coalition are still battling each other and nowhere more so than the Benelong by-election, they're neglecting the fight on their flanks. Just as Labor's bleeding to the left, the Coalition is to the right. Scott Morrison's declared himself the point man for the unhappy Conservatives. He wants protections for schools and charities opposed to same-sex marriage included in the bill before Parliament. It's hard to have a discussion around the detail of it when you haven't actually seen what's been drafted. The same-sex marriage debate is seen as a proxy for the fight for control of the party. And in last week's result, there are clear political winners and losers. Some people's stocks will rise or fall, but I really think we need to be focusing on the next generation uh, of Liberals who are actually going to chart and shape the future of this country. The curtain's closing on two-party politics in Australia. Those inside know the end is nigh, they just don't know what to do. Ashlyn McGee, ABC News, Canberra.